We're at Marseille in Pukekohe, and we're with Marco Toysha, the Dutch master, number 23 in the world, a remarkable player. Well, the sport that is sweeping the world is very much nine ball. Yes, just the nine balls on the table in a diamond-shaped formation. So we're just going to get Marco to tell us why, in nine ball, the balls are set up the way they're set up, and in regards to the break, yeah. what balls are most likely to go down off the break and why? Uh, yeah, so the main thing of the rack is, of course, uh, the one, the yellow one, and the nine ball in the center. That's pretty much it from the rack. So um, any other ball doesn't really matter too much. Um, and the balls they're most likely to go in after contact is when you're breaking from the side, breaking on this ball, the two ball will go this direction, and the one ball, the yellow one, will go that direction, will go to the side pocket. And that's because you're coming from that side? Yeah. Where if you were coming from this side, yeah, the red one will be going here, and the yellow one will be going that direction. Okay, I might just get you to give us a demonstration. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, uh, so a big mistake what a lot of people make when they're breaking from the side, they're thinking they have to hit it like on that line. This is the line because they have to hit it straight, and it's not the right point because you want to hit it exactly. You want to hit it exactly here. You try to hit the yellow ball as thick as possible. So you don't want to hit it on the side, but you want to hit it exactly in a straight line from the white ball to here. That's the thickest point on the yellow ball. All right, so now I'm going to break one. I'm just going to try to hit it as thick as possible. And you will see that the line of the yellow will go this direction and the blue ball will go to the left corner pocket. So you see the, the the blue one missed it, and the yellow one just came like before the side pocket. So you see the, the, the blue one missed it, and the yellow one just came like before the side pocket. Uh, and Marco, just in regards to the break, it seems to be one area where you do want to get a lot of power behind your shot. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, you, because how more power you give, how bigger the chances that you might make a ball. Yeah, and, and, and what about the spread? How important is that? If you don't necessarily sink a ball off the break, is it yeah. important that you don't have them bunched? Uh, yeah, of course, because how more how more a spread you have, how more options you have to play position for the next shot, uh, more room. And, 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 so once you've made the break, yep. you, a professional player like yourself, you can pretty much map the table. You yep. know exactly what your first and your second shot is. Yep. But how important is it that you are thinking about your next shot? It's like pretty much the most important thing. I mean, uh, because if you only play for one shot, you don't know what's happening for the next one. And that, especially when you want to like finish the table or go to the next shot, you have to see where the next shot is and what you want to do with the white ball. So the Dutch master, Marco Toysha, well, he's just made a break in nine ball. The object is clearly to sink the balls in order. In this case, no ball has gone down from the table. So you're going to watch the Dutch master Work through the balls in order, one through nine. All right, so we have the first shot. Um, we have a little bit of like an off angle, so you see the white ball is not in a straight line of the yellow. So I might be able to play a little bit of a stop shot and get the white ball to the center of the table for the, for the blue one. So now I'm like pretty much center of the table. Um, I'm looking at the, the tree ball. I can see the tree balls on this side of the table. So if I can make this uh, blue ball there, get the white ball, screw it a little bit back to the center of the table, so I get a shot of the tree ball. So the center of the table is usually the ideal spot um, to send, you know, to place the white ball because you have like, you know, quite central. You have more options for the other balls. So I can see here as well from this angle, I can see if I make, leave the white ball central of the table, I have like a shot for the four ball as well. So I'm going to make the, the red one and try to get the line, get the white ball in the center of the table. So I play it quite a bit too soft, but as you see, I like the four balls quite, quite close to the pocket, so I still have a shot. Um, I'm going to make this one with a lot of left spin because if I try to cut it in like normal, the white ball will come off the rail and will hit this one. So I'm going to try to be low in the cue ball and try to avoid the, the black ball. So 
So now I have a shot on the on the orange five pole. I don't have like a quite nice angle. I'm a little bit off. So ideally I want to be on this side of the five ball so I could just play a stop shot and then have a shot on the on the on the green one. So what I right now is gonna do because I have quite a lot of angle, so I'm gonna try to make it, get off this rail and get back to this straight line of the of the six ball. See, this is the perfect line. Look at the line of the of the six. So I'm in a straight line of the six. So if I play a stop shot right now, I don't have, I have an angle that the white ball will go this way after 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 making the seven ball. So right now I'm just gonna try to screw the white ball a little bit back. So I have an angle to go from this from the seven go back to the eight ball. So now I have like a perfect angle for the seven. So I'm gonna play a little bit left spin. So after contact, the white ball hit here the rail, and because of the left spin, it will create a line to the to the left side of the table. Perfect line. Just make this one just like the center of the white ball. The white ball is little, this is like a natural line, so I just have to only focus on the speed of the white ball. Just playing a stop shot on the nine ball. And that's how you finish the wreck.